Hey guys, welcome to day seven of the 21 days of flow. So I am here just so you guys know, parked. I am not driving. I'm actually in the passenger seat um, doing here, doing this live for you guys here today. So welcome, welcome for those joining me, for those of you watching the replay. Hello. Make sure you say hello and you comment and say hello. So today's day seven of the 21 days of flow. The 21 days of flow is to support you in really mastering your energy, your mindset and business tactics, strategy, so you can create an epic life and business. So welcome, welcome for those of you joining me and or, and or watching the replay. So today I want to talk about what's the real work that needs to happen in, in terms of really truly building a thriving business. And you know, I someone asked me this question, which is why I even chose this topic for today. She asked me, Shana, what's the what's the main would you say like is the foundation work that we gotta do in this whole week? If you guys have noticed too, we've been talking a lot about this, right? A lot about what is that true foundational work, what is the mindset that we need to truly have to really build a thriving business, right? Hey Detarel, my love from the beach. Oh my god, so good. I so want to be in the beach right now. Who else is here? Say hello guys. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys too to share this. Help me share this. I know it's Sunday, so it's a bit quiet here today. I love it. Um, and whenever you, you do listen this to this, right? So the question is, what's the real work when it comes to building a thriving business? And here's what I've realized. The true work around building a thriving business is that inner work. It's working those emotional triggers. It's working the maturity, right? Hey, Bridget. Happy Sunday, my love. How are you? Hey, guys. For those joining. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um... And it's that doing that inner work, that emotional, that emotional work, right? Here's the thing, as women, I don't know about you guys, but for me, and men might not agree with this necessarily, but for women, I noticed that we are very emotional, right? And sometimes um, we gotta, we, not sometimes, we gotta work those emotions, right? Especially while building a business. I truly believe, and a mentor of mine said this one, she said, um, you want to do the best personal development work in the planet? Go build your business. When you're building a business, you got to face your own stuff. You face, you, like, you're forced in a situation where you got to face your fears, rejection. You got to face what you're not. You know, you got to go outside your comfort zone, especially if you want to grow, right? Um, doing that, right? It's like when you are in building your business, right? It's like you got to do that work. And one of the things that I see many times is that that personal development is sometimes what can doesn't allow us to grow or it is what if we work it and we really put uh, like work on it it is really what allows us to go to the next step and next level in our business and life right hey Cynthia my love how are you happy Sunday ladies happy happy day um so yeah like doing that inner work and I want to share with you guys a story you know when I was starting my business actually my first this happened a lot more in my second year than first obviously because in the second I started talking to more people first I was like so confused on even what I wanted to do right but in my second year of business um hey Rosemary love hey hey guys I'm so excited to see you guys here and um sorry Instagrammers by the way I'm only doing Facebook just because we're on the go right today but I'm gonna make sure that Instagrammers know that we're here and so yeah like I remember in my second year of business like when I was building this business I was like, um, I was actually in this beautiful place in the beach in Panama and I had my desk, I was working from there and like my desk, I could see like, like there was not a window like right in front, but there was like a window right up and I was sitting there and I could see the window and it was all like, you could see the mountains in the window and you could, it was very peaceful where I was. Like, so you could hear like the birds singing and I was sitting there with my laptop and I had just received an email of someone who I'd spoken to the day before, right? The day before saying that she was excited to work with me, that she wanted to work with me, that she was going to pay that same day, that she was going to sign the contract. And I was really excited because as I was building the business, I was like excited like to keep on going, right? Building the cash flow. And I had just received her email and I was actually excited to see her email because I was like, whoa, oh my God, she must be excited. And, I, and, and her email said like, hello, Sharina. I'm emailing you, like, I loved talking to you yesterday. Um, you're so amazing. But, and when I saw the but, like, I could feel my heart sink. And in that moment, I was like, oh, like, I, I saw myself twirling my eyes, right? Like, going like that. And I kept on reading, and she was saying how she loved talking to me, but she's decided that she did not want to move forward with the, with the program um, because X, Y, Z, right? Her situation was because of, of her husband, right? Like, something else had come up. And I remember in that moment feeling so bad 
at the time my my fiance was nearby like he was doing his stuff and I, I just looked at him and I like I were looking at him just like bawling like in tears and getting so mad so angry and not being able to control myself in the moment right and has this ever happened to you when something bad or not not bad but like something that happens that it triggers you emotionally triggers you and you're like ah and you're like off and you know that day took me it took me like a day or three days maybe to really get through that and really overcome that because it was like oh my god this rejection and like I used to not take re rejection as um, smooth as today. I still don't take it as smooth, smooth, smooth. I'm still in work of pro progress, right? I think transparency is important here and honesty is important here. Um, but in that moment, when I saw that email and I got triggered. I, I was talking to my, my, my then boyfriend, now fiance. And I remember crying and being like, oh, like this is so hard. Like I felt like the world ended. And the world wasn't ending, right? Like in a mature mindset, it's like the world's not ending, you know? Like Shrina, she's not your source, right? Like now, I'm like doing this spiritual work, doing this mindset work, like doing the work that I'm really recommending you, like I'm sharing with you today, like doing that work made me realize like nobody's our source, like the universe, like it's that infinite consciousness, that knowledge, man, that, that connection with ourselves that is our source, not anybody else. And yeah, and I share the story with you guys because that is the real work because imagine this if I would have not gotten through that or really worked myself worked my personal development to get through moments like that I there were so many times in my business where I could be like it could throw me off like small things before used to throw me off throw me off for days and hours and you guys can ask my fiance like he's test testimony of this right but I think it's so powerful to do that work do the inner work face it go through it give yourself the opportunity to even clear it cry it scream it right like and get through it and then shift your mindset i think that's super important that's the step i want to share with you today in order to really do this work it's like noticing these triggers noticing the immaturity whatever you want to call it and making the conscious choice of shifting from it right and share with me for those of you who are joining me does this make sense does it resonate has this happened to you share with me in the chat um i want to hear from you and, and hear from you to see what you think if this has happened to you but this is the main work we got to do in our business and today this is my priority you know in my signature program money flow mastery which is a program of business it's a program to helping people build and grow their businesses and take their business to the other level but you know i have testimony after testimony on this if we don't know if we in the program do not do this work and part of the program is really doing this work we actually do these clearings where we help you shift these emotions these fears because we all go through it especially when we're building and we're growing and we're evolving we got to face those new devils right new level new devil we got to face it and in our program money flow mastery it's like we're always doing that and this is something this is the real work and this is like clearing work and I'm gonna and, and, and guys wait for me because this coming week in week two of the 21 days of flow I'm gonna be doing some really exciting things plus we're gonna be doing some clearings where we're gonna do this work here live in this 21 days okay so tune in with me it's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting because this is the main work this is the work where the magic happens this is the work when we do it you will start noticing shifts in every area of your life and this is the exciting thing about it because guys here's the other thing too everything is connected when I start noticing um, like a shift a trigger or something else in let's say my relationship that's an indicator for me to like do the work right like to do the work face it and you know something happened to me recently where I was gonna go into my pattern my normal pattern of doing things I was do as I was doing but I was like you know what if you want different results in your life you gotta do things differently right like it's like that phrase of insanity like if you are expecting um, if you want different results how are you gonna do the same thing and expect different results it's like that's insane right literally insane and it's so true right great hello I want to hear from you guys too so Rosemary shares it does have resonate with me Sharina because that's the reason why I stopped working on my business exactly these triggers guys I have seen this take people out of the game I've seen people like and yesterday we spoke about resentment which is one of the I've seen the number one stop but this is the work we got to do to clear the resentment to do all of this before the strategy and I know maybe many of you may, might be even getting triggered listening to me here today saying Shana but get to the strategy how do I build a business like how do I do it this is so important this is the foundation of going there right um, it is so important and this is the work that we got to be doing every day. This is the main work that will help us build and grow our business, especially if your goal is to grow your business. So if your goal is to grow your business, make sure that you put number one priority in doing this work. And notice every area of your life. If you're noticing, as I mentioned before, a trigger in your relationship, 
Do things differently. Don't show up the same way. You're going to get the same results. Do things differently and start noticing how your life starts shifting area after area, area after area. It gets so exciting, guys. Life can get so exciting and so fun when you get when you have this mindset of growth of I'm going to do things differently and I'm going to I'm going to improve, right? It's really powerful. So Dita Real shares, yes, this makes total sense. You have to build a strong foundation. Exactly. Do not get out of the game because here's the truth, guys. And I'm going to say it as it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I'm not going to lie here. You know, yesterday I talked to someone and she's like, yeah, I want to, like, she was actually joining our program, Money Flow Mastery. And I was like, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you're expecting this to be easy, simple, like a, like a, like a ride down, you know, like super smooth. It's not like know that you're going to get triggered. We're going to push your buttons. Um, it might be challenging. You might want to quit. These are all things that we see that happens. Right? It's not my first time doing this program, but I'm telling you all this. So you are prepared mentally. I'm just like, wow, Shan, thank you for being honest, you know? And I think it's important to be honest, even this journey of business of, of really creating an amazing epic life business relationship. It's important to get your hands dirty and not getting scared. The other thing too, I think is really important is to to have the commitment you know me and my fiance we have this thing where it's like breaking up or or it's not an option like it's not an object option on the table because as it's not an option we know we can go deep we can say the things not being scared that the next person is going to leave the relationship or like quit right like we have that commitment and the commitment is to make it work the commitment is to find a way find a solution that's the mindset we have in our relationship the mindset we have in our business as well you know he and his business and me and mine where it's like there's no option of quitting my business and thank god I, there were so many moments guys that i wanted to quit you guys have no idea like so many moments that i thought you know what let me just work with someone else let someone else take the headache of the business and let me just focus on my genius point right there's been so many times i've thought about that right even like i think it was like like, um, like seven, eight months ago, I was telling my fiance, like, you know, I should just like see if I can do something and just like work for someone else and that's it, right? Um, but yeah, that mindset also is really, really important. And doing this work helps you really build that mindset, right? Yelena, hey, my love. And Yelena is such a beautiful example, guys. Like, she was sharing with me how it's like, she doesn't quit. Like, it's like, and here's the other thing too, when you start giving yourself the opportunity to see what's possible, Everything starts opening up. It's like sometimes we wait for everything to show up to then take the place. No, we got to take that first step first, right? And doing this work, guys, doing this clearing work, doing this is the real work we got to do to truly build a thriving business. Not, yes, we got to do the other stuff. And guys, in the next days, I'm going to be sharing with you strategies, how to get clients, sales. We're going to do clearing. We're going to do such great, awesome work together. So make sure you join me these 21 days. Make this a non-negotiable. I'm, I'm like even committed here Sunday being here with you guys because this work is very powerful and it's going to change your lives. Okay, so I look forward and, and do me a favor, guys. Also share this, help me share this. Um, comment uh tomorrow will be on again same time same place on facebook and it's gonna be great tomorrow I have a really cool surprise for you guys too so i'll see you guys there have an awesome day happy sunday enjoy the beach enjoy with your family whatever you're doing um sending you so much so much love Mwah! lots of kisses and hugs bye ladies